Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and today is going to be a psh, battle of the subscription. So today I decided to switch it up because I have been recently reviewing my subscription a play bag just because I have recently signed up for it the last couple months, but I've been a big time fan of Ipsy. So I decided I would show you what's in both of these for October and let's see which one I like more or maybe they end up turning the same. Plus I figured it would just be good because there are two completely different subscriptions and I think this would be beneficial. So maybe you're interested in a certain subscription and you don't know which one to choose each of them are both ten dollars a month uh not gonna lie i haven't really been the happiest with the sephora at play or sephora play box even though it comes in a bag but i don't know i'll kind of go into like the pros and cons of it and also for this also if you're wanting to know what my lip color is i just recently hauled it so i'll link that video down below and if you don't remember what it was then you can go check it again it's right in the beginning of the video just so you can get a little reminder but if you're interested it's in that haul. All right, so I'm gonna start off with my Ipsy bag because Ipsy is one of my favorite ones. I don't know, I feel like the last couple months I have not been disappointed. All in all, I mean, if you really think about this, the subscriptions are never gonna be like 100% every single month. There's gonna be some items you like more than others. That's just how it goes. One good thing about Ipsy is that once you start getting your products, you can review them and you get points. With the points and also if you refer people, you can also accumulate points. With those points, you can start picking out different items that they have underneath their rewards page. And they'll have all different types of brands, even full size of what comes inside of this bag or from previous months. There's a bunch of different things you can choose from, which I'll show you one of my point perks or my rewards in a little bit. Just to let you know that when you do review each item and how you basically kind of feel about it, you do get the points, but not only do you get the points, they're going to take your opinion and your survey on all the items that they curated for your bag and really take that into consideration how you like the item and they're gonna start kind of like doing some nicks and fixing, fixing the nitty gritty. Well, they're basically just gonna start curating the bag a little bit more towards your personal preferences. So say that you got an item and you didn't like it, you're like, eh, didn't like it. But then they will take that into consideration. So I think that's pretty cool that they're doing a more customized sort of thing. Comes with a bag every single month and this one is so adorable. Not sure if it's picking it up. Even in person, it's very, very faint, but it's a light, 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 light pink. Um, it's a white with like a pink undertone, but very light. You can barely tell, but this one I think is just so cute. Um, every single month they have a theme. I only got grabbed my bag. I lost the card, but they always give like a card with a theme and this is what it looks like. This is perfect because this is really sturdy and I think that the little zipper right here, I don't know if you can see it. It's a ghost with heart eyes. Look at that. That is so cute. So I know it is from some artist because I remember reading that, but I do not know what is inside my Ipsy bag. So let's get started. I'm going to pick the big thing first. What is this? This is a Desse or a Des New York organic infused nail lacquer. Now, if you've been watching my channel for a while, when I first started, like when it used to be glam bag, I was not a fan of nail polishes. Okay. This is probably a consideration that I actually will like. This one is this shade right here. I think that's pretty dang cool. Okay, I do not have a nail polish like that. I'm more of the one where I don't like to get reds, creams, oranges. I feel like I can get all of that stuff really easily. This kind of shade though, it's very unique and I definitely don't have anything in like this in my collection. So I'm not hating on it. I'm excited to try it out. So I really like this shade. What is this called anyhow? Grand Central. So that's pretty cool. Again, if I didn't like it, I can always take the survey, which I really haven't taken a survey, maybe for like a couple products, just because I have been happy with my bag. But say that I really don't want any more nail polish, I'll probably just take the survey this time and say like zero, like I don't want any more. I don't like a nail polish. I mean, I'm not sure if that necessarily means I won't ever get one ever again, but they're gonna take it into to consideration. Oh, okay, cool. I have a Ciate a London. This is an eyeliner. It's called Fierce Flicks. Okay, this I really love. I haven't tried anything from the brand whatsoever. So let's see how pigmented this baby is. So it is a felt tip marker and one thing that I really love is that they're starting to give a lot of eyeliners in the shade black, at least for myself. So I'm really happy of that because you can't get enough black eyeliners or brown because I know not everybody is a big time fan of black. Oh wow, that's actually super pigmented. Look, psh, psh, psh. I haven't tried anything from the brand, but I know it is in Sephora, so I'm really happy of that. I'll kind of give it a look to see if it dries matte or not. It's still in the process. Oh, it looks like it's drying matte. 
Definitely a winner in my books. So here is a Pure product. And again, Pure is another major brand. I know you can get it at Ulta. And this is called Dirty Girl. Ooh. I feel like dirty for some reason. Like my lips look dirty. I'm like... <laughs> I don't know, I'm just not used to wearing dark lips. I've been trying to take a lot of your comments into consideration because a ton of you always say, girl, how come you do not wear other lip colors? Like you look good in them. I don't know what's your issue. I don't know, it's like one of those things like when you're really used to wearing wing liner and then the day you have no eyeliner, you're like, I feel naked or you always have to do your brows. It's one of those things. I'm not hating it, but I've just never worn such a dark color and I plan on wearing it out. So I'm just like, I'm gonna commit. But going back to the product, this is Dirty Girl, and this is a detoxifying mud mask with Pascalite Clay. I'm not mad at this product either. If you heard something, that was a rumble in my tumble in my tummy. And I'm not mad at this because I'm someone where I absolutely love skincare, especially if it's a brand that I've heard of and it's just on the market and really known, then I'm really not mad at it. So it just says, apply mask liberally to skin and treat for five to 20 minutes. That's kind of like a broad time, five to 20. I usually just keep them on longer. Uh, like about 20 minutes and then it says rinse thoroughly with warm water. Let's see what this looks like Oh, this is a poo poo brown. It looks like look at that color. It's like a light brown It looks like a diarrhea brown. So I will be having a, a doo doo face when I do this mask uh, I like this because it looks like I can get two uses out of this uh, Just depends if a little goes a long way with this probably like two uh, Usually with masks like this I can tell if I really feel refreshed or if my face feels really clean or if I get that uh, 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 Feeling after I know I won't like it. So this is a pretty decent size Okay, so so far I'm super happy with my bag next up is Cabana Boy Shadow Slash Blush. And I actually have this a full size. For some reason, I'm not really a big fan of these. They give a lot of these. I'm sure a lot of people do love them though because they're, I mean, look, they're super duper cute. How adorable is this? It's basically the full size, but shrunken down. So this is a blush or eyeshadow. I just use this one as a blush. I guess you can say it's good for travel because I mean, Blush is just one of those things I don't really like to bring because I find that they just end up getting cracked, smashed, just a waste of money. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry again too because I am a little bit on the sick side. So if I sound a little bit different or maybe I'm a little, ugh, it's because I am a little, ugh. but I don't know. I think I don't like these. I mean, I like it because of the cute factor, but I just never use these. Like they give a lot of the balm products too, which is a very known brand as well, which I love. You can get this at Kohl's now and other websites and obviously their site, the balm, but I don't know. I just never use them because they'll give like little mini eyeshadows, but it could be just because I have them. And I also have to take in consideration not everybody has tried the balm product. So uh, some of these, uh, so when I say with like these subscriptions, it gets kind of complicated, especially with beauty junkies, because I find that a lot of the times we're like, but I already have that, or I've tried that, or that's not that special. And that's sort of acting a little bit like, girl, relax, or boy, relax. It's just... You have to take in consideration everybody else because maybe they haven't tried it and they've been trying, dying to try it out. So that's one thing I will say. There's one last thing. Okay, they've given this brand a lot and honestly, I'm not like the biggest fan of the packaging. This is Tristique and it always looks like this. Like I said, I've gone this quite a few times and honestly, I'm just bored of the brand. I don't like the packaging. The color is very nice and it's definitely awesome for fall. Oh, that's much brighter than what I thought. It looks much darker in the tube than it would when you swatch it. This looks like a nice berry color for more of like that stained berry lip, berry bitten. But I don't know what it is. There's just something about like this little mini crayon that I'm not a fan of because I did get a nude one, but I found that my lips were getting a little bit chapped from the formula. Uh, so that's probably another reason why I don't like it, but it's awesome if... <coughs> <coughs> I just dabbed. <laughs> That's probably one of the reasons why I don't really care for it because I tried out one of their nude shades for like a couple days and it just, it, it was just a weird emollient type of feeling on my lips and it made them a little bit chapped. So that was all in my Ipsy bag. Again, I am overall pretty much pleased. The only product I didn't really care for was the Cabana blush, but it is really cute and it is convenient for travel and was the little Tristique one just because I've had that brand so many times and I've been subscribed to Ipsy for 
forever. Another thing is, is that once you start referring people, which I'll leave my link down below if you use it, thank you so much. I don't, don't get any money from it, I just get points. So they actually had a reward I wanted to claim and I got the Gimme Brow, which is from Benefit, which is awesome. That's one thing is I think the rewards that they're starting to put are freaking bomb skis. I know like last year or something, they put like the Too Faced Bomb Bomb palette and like other things. They've put the Too Faced concealer on there. They've put the Born This Way foundation. They've put so much stuff on there that's really bomb. I got a full size of this, so I'm really happy. I'm really happy. Now I don't have to go out and go buy that thing just because it is expensive. I think I believe it's like 23 bucks, something like that. And I redeemed that one for I think a thousand points. So that means I had to refer 10 people. So, I mean, it's not impossible if you have friends or family that are into beauty, they just sign up and yeah, no big deal. Okay, so now I'm gonna go on to my Sephora bag. I feel like this video is kind of taking long, but I'm glad I'm doing this battle because I know that lots of people are so curious about the Sephora bag because you automatically think like, oh my God, Sephora, it's gonna be bomb. But honestly, it's just been like whatever. But like I said, I'm gonna say the pros and cons to everything. So they always have a theme and I think these bags are really cute because I always say these are great for travel holding tampons. Um, you can also use this as like a little gift, like put it in a bag, you know, just a little drawstring bag. Uh, I think it's very cute just because I do have a lot of those Ipsy bags. But again, some people may not have that many. So this is the lipsticks and chill. I think that is super cute. Uh, I, I don't know. I just love these bags. Like I said, just because it is something different, I'm glad they didn't do like a makeup bag like the Ipsy one. So let's see what I have in here. Okay, so first thing is a skincare item. And I will say one of the things I don't really care about the skincare items is that they are pretty small. And I'm not one where I like to try skincare in a super small package. I like a, I want a more deluxe sample. So this one says prep your skin to a perfect canvas. What is this? Pure Revival Peel. Another thing is a lot of people might be scared of peels or if you've never done a peel and you don't know what a peel is. So this one basically exfoliates, evens as it repairs, maximizes absorption of nutrients from your skincare. Uh, not my favorite because it's super itty bitty and I'm probably gonna get one use out of this. Now this is my point. Look how small this is and then look at the Ipsy. This one, the Ipsy, I can get a couple uses. This one is definitely one use, so. I don't know, there's a little comparison. Blink Mascara Amplified. So Blink is a super popular brand. I have never tried anything from this brand, so this is a mascara. So it says, stop painting your lashes, tube them. So this is obviously a tubing mascara if you don't know what that is. It's like an extension one. I'm not the biggest fan of that just because I find that they can be really clumpy. I am also a contact lens wearer and I find like the tubes or fibers from mascaras tend to just drop into the contacts and it's just not a fun time. It could sting, it just burns, it gets in there. It is, it's not fun. So this is what it says. It says only water slides tubes off lashes. So this is obviously not a waterproof one. Let's see what this baby looks like. So here's the one. Okay, one thing is about me is I really love wet mascaras and you can tell when a mascara is wet I don't know it just looks very it looks wet <laughs> and the way it comes out of the tube I don't know but let's see because it says tubing mascara stop painting your lashes tube them huh I'm not really seeing any fibers so that's something that's good you know what maybe it's just saying like the way that the mascara is coating them just really lengthens them I don't know because I really don't see any fibers at all, so maybe it's just a way of them explaining what their mascara is. I don't know, that makes me happy because like I said, I'm not an extension fiber mascara girl, so I'm really happy that it's not. Next up is, okay, this is what I'm talking about, the big bambino, the big kahuna. Now this is a really deluxe size sample of a skincare item, and this is what I'm talking about. Now this I definitely will love. This is a Christoph Robin uh, product. I've never heard of this brand, but again, when you think of the Sephora bag, no matter what product is in there, it's from Sephora, just know that. So this one is a regenerating mask, another mask, just like how Ipsy gave one. It says with rare prickly pear, ooh, seed oil from Paris, Paris. So this one says apply a small amount after shampoo. Oh, it's for the hair. <laughs> so this is a hair mask, which is probably why they gave a little bit more than usual. It smells good. I thought it was like a mask for the face. See, I wish, I mean, I mean, let's get real Lizzie. Why would you think this is a full size for the face? Because a lot of products in Sephora, 
do come in this size and they're like $40 for one little jar. So I should have known this was for the hair. Okay, this makes me happy. This is a Smashbox lipstick and this has to be their liquid lipstick. Okay, it doesn't say anything. I do have a card and it comes with all the items. I just don't like looking at that because it just shows everything and I wanna be surprised. But this is a Smashbox liquid lipstick. I haven't talked about these on my channel and I need to because I really love the formula. I'm someone where if you've been watching me in like the last couple months, I'm really over like this matte lip look, but uh, I know people really love it. I wanted to try a different color. I can always slap on a bomb, but I think this color just, it looks good matte. The Smashbox formula is really good. It's super light, it's comfortable. It lasts well. I like this shade because I'm a neutral girl, but this still has like some sort of color to it. So let's swatch that one. And you see how easy that went on? Just the way, okay, the applicator is just like this too, but it has like this little dip inside. You see that? And it holds product so that when you take it out, this is something that maybe some of you may not notice, but sometimes when you take out Dofa applicators, it's just like flat. But this has like a dip inside where it's holding product so that there's enough to go around all of your lips. Um, instead of having to go back in and out, in and out, it's like just one swipe and you're good to go. You don't have to reapply. You don't waste too much product. I'm so happy that Sephora put this brand and especially this liquid lipstick in this bag because I find that they don't get too much love. I know some people kind of talked about them, but not too much, but I really love this formula. It's really comfortable and light. Okay, a skincare, and I know this is a skincare because this is by Belief, and this is a good size too. So this one's the True, Cle the True Cream Aqua Balm, and I feel like I've heard about this before. Uh, it says increase hydration level. Ooh, it smells good, nice and fresh. What I'm happy is that this is a gel formula. I love these types of products because they're awesome right before makeup because your skin will just like soak them up and they're not too thick where they're gonna leave a little bit of a film. I'll get some good use out of this. Every single month, okay, here's a YSL Mon Perry. Uh, this is a perfume sample. I heard from the very first time I did my review that the perfume samples are bonuses. So I don't know, I, it's just whatever. So, Nah. I remember like the last couple, I wasn't like the biggest fan. Yeah, it's nice. I think it's better than the other one. So this is what it looks like. You can always get samples of perfumes if you didn't know at Sephora too. I've never done it, but I know I've heard people talk about it. I always get makeup samples. I don't really consider it bonus. Can you see the level it's at? It's just like, oh, we tossed it in there like, that's it. Okay, so now I'm gonna go over some pros and cons of each one. I mean, I think each of them come in a really cute bag. Obviously, quality-wise, this one is much better because you're gonna get way more use out of it. It's like this material where you're not gonna get it dirty. This is just like a little dust bag, so I can see why people would be like, uh, that bag's like crap. But I happen to like it just because I said, I happen to have quite a bit of these. $10 a month, I think that's pretty affordable. I mean, I don't mind really trying out products for $10 a month, so that's always a good thing and there's no like up charges or anything like that. So now when it comes down to the products, if you think about it, Ipsy, they did put a lot of products like the balm and then they put the Ciate, stuff that you can find in Sephora, Ulta, but then another thing is, is they do have quite a bit of indie brands like I showed you that little lipstick from Tristique, uh, Trezique or whatever. Um, that's more of a brand where you're probably gonna have to buy online most likely. One thing that is good about Ipsy is all the products that they do have in the bag, you can purchase through their website. And a lot of the times they have discounts and deals on them. But I can kind of see how it's a little bit annoying out of the inconvenience factor that say that you did happen to like an item inside the bag. It's not like you can just go to Sephora and buy it right away or order it. You have to go through their site or through that brand site. Now with Sephora, anything that you do get in this bag, you can find in Sephora no matter what. If you like a product, you can order it through Sephora right away and you're gonna get points with Sephora. So if you think about it, both of them do have a points or rewards factor too. So with Ipsy, if you refer people, you get points. And also if you take surveys and questionnaires and stuff like that with your products, you also get more points you can redeem for rewards. And I think the rewards are pretty damn good. I think they're much better than the Sephora point perks. I can get the benefit full size. There's a lot of different products, but you can get them all starting from 100 points to 250 to 500 to 1000. Another thing is with Sephora, yes, all the products are gonna be in Sephora. They start off at like 100 points, 250, 500, and then 
I believe they're starting to add like more point perks in the thousands and they're trying to add like bigger like prizes like up to like 5,000 points, 25,000 points. I've seen it online and they only have like maybe like two or three of that. But if you're someone who has accumulated that many points, which is a lot of points, then you can get those really big prizes. Um, all in all, I thought both of them were pretty good. I can't really say which one I liked better because I thought that they were both decently great. Uh, like I said, I guess it's just kind of like the convenience factor and which one you're really, I don't know, aiming towards. I will say though that Sephora has been a little eh because the sizes of everything are so small most of the time and I'm not really wowed by them but another thing is you have to understand is if you're someone who already has like a lot of beauty stuff I don't think you'll be wowed by this because you already have been accumulating points in Sephora and a lot of the stuff you can kind of redeem there's like pros and cons to both of them all in all I'm gonna continue getting my Sephora because if this one wasn't good this month I was gonna just cancel it but I'm gonna end up keeping it uh, just so I can show you guys what's in it and yeah I don't know I think it's a good video and I don't mind spending my ten dollars to kind of show you guys what you guys should expect from the bag and stuff like that so I'm gonna keep my subscription like I said if it was bad I was gonna cancel this crap but I actually liked it a lot this month and I really liked my ipsy as well I was a little bit scared for my Sephora because like I said the last ones have been like hit or miss I'll link all those other videos down below just so you can see what they've been giving and you can kind of get like a good feel I haven't shown my ipsy bag in those other videos I just started that today so I will continue to do that because they do have a really big difference in products and brands and stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you want me to keep doing a comparison video. That would really help me and let me know. Also, I hope you guys subscribe to my channel because if you haven't, what are you doing? Subscribe to my channel because it is free. 99, literally free. I'll leave all my social media links down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Woo